New at six water woes plaguing one local community. Take a look. This is what the tap water looks like for some people living in Rock Hill. You can see it has a brown tint to it. The city is saying they installed a new water pipe and that there's nothing to worry about. But many customers are still upset because they say the city never told them about this issue. NBC Charlotte's Tanya Mendez is live at six and Tanya, you talked with one homeowner who's really upset about this. Oh yeah, so upset that he actually went out and got a bunch of bottled water, said that he does not believe that this water is safe. The city says otherwise, though. We are right in the area of Winthrop Coliseum, and a lot of families in this community have started noticing that their water just doesn't look right. Running his faucets, flushing his toilets, blasting his hose. You see, it's definitely dirty still. Not the way Robert Davis planned to spend his day. It was very frustrating for me. But since his tap water is looking more like lemonade these days, or worse. Watered down Coca-Cola. Davis is now trying to clear every water line in his house. Davis and his neighbors have had discoloration and dirt in their water for four days now. The city of Rock Hill blaming construction for the problem. They installed a new water line Friday and it stirred up sediment, sending it straight into the water supply. The city didn't warn anyone. So Davis posted a warning on Facebook for all of his friends and neighbors to see. Anger bubbling over as he thinks back to all the tea he was drinking this weekend. I'm using what I would assume is safe tap water, not knowing that I'm drinking dirty water. So there's no way that this water is is safe to drink. The city insists it is safe, but they are doing tests on the water as a precaution. Don't trust it. Davis says he's not waiting for the results. That when you see something dirty, you don't drink it. <laughs> Mom didn't raise a fool. So the city of Rock Hill says there is not a boil water advisory in effect right now. They do hope that this problem will resolve itself tomorrow. Reporting live in Rock Hill, I'm Tanya Mendes, NBC Charlotte. Tanya, thank you.